there. Happy New Year. I'm Priscilla Batsell and I'm in the backyard of Expression Start Studio Gallery and I am sharing with those of you who are coming back my Lola Fee silicone mat and what I peeled off and stuck down on paint that I had left over and it's still pretty wet but I imagine it's going to dry. This is dry but that's still wet. And when I peel it up I ought to be able to cut it or apply it anywhere I want. So just a, just a uh, off-the-cuff share and I'm going to grab my tile. You stare at that. Nice clean tile. And I have a cup that has white satin enamel from Deco Art in the bottom of it with some black from my last pour. I stick my glasses on my face. And my idea is to try and use more color than white satin enamel and see how that works. So if I use just a little bit of it in between everything and more color, you'll know why. Because I've been having an awful lot of paint. And I'm going to also try to use less paint overall. I don't know what it was, but it's gone now and it's <laughs> it's pretty far away too. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that's still good. I don't know if I shook that. There's not much left in there. So it looks like it's kind of working so far. I don't know if I can get anything out of this. I keep trying. I've made the dregs of this bottle go longer than you can imagine. And I'm so hoping I can waste none that I didn't also didn't shake it up because there is no room to shake anything. So what am I going to grab? I'm going to grab some Prussian blue and I want some dark purple and why it's not right in front of me, I'm not there to Okay. You know what else? I found I found my favorite neon from folk art. And I'm gonna use a lot of that. And a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna keep this is a masterminds iridescent orange. I am gonna put in that Prussian blue. And I am hooked on traveling ring pours, traveling ribbon pours right now. I mean they're basically ring pours because I'm pouring it into a ribbon a ribbon pour a ring pour cup. Yeah, hello. And uh, other than that, wow, do I want some I kinda want some green. Do I want these are both folk art color shifts. That one's too much like the last one. I think I'm gonna go for it. Wait, I forgot my satin. All dressed in satin. Then I'm going to move some of my colors away and throw what? I got to be careful not to grab that other white because I really just want the experiment to be kind of pure and I definitely want some more of that purple. And am I done? Maybe. Okay. I'm done for now. I can always add more paint to my cup. Let me get these back. Oh, I forgot the neon paint. I guess I'm not done. I have some Arteza left from a long time ago. Not much of it either. I'm kind of thinking using all of it would be alright with me. And I wanted some black back in there again because there was black in the bottom. I'm going to obviously have to torch because of those bubbles. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to grab a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I am going to give myself the pleasure of what? I have large bottles of paint mixed up in my Artist Loft bottles, which comes in really handy for a large canvas. And I'm going to use what you can find on the Amazon link below, show more, my Amazon link, at no added cost to you, by the way. Uh, this is an OXO omelet turning spatula. And I, it's not super hot right now, especially with the nice breeze we have, so I'm thinking maybe my paint won't dry too fast. but. If I can be somewhat quick, I'm going to need some more paint. There's no doubt about it. It's unusual for me not to get the, the at least the beginning amounts right. It doesn't matter so much if I see some of the canvas through at this point. Mostly because I'm going to be pouring that ribbon pour on top of it and probably swallowing most of it. I don't know how much of that paint I'm going to use. I do have an edge catcher handy. I might want another one behind me. It's lately I've been using them so thoroughly it's good to have more than one around because I like to put one on my turntable as I work. Alright, so 
I like it when the paint looks like it wants to adhere to the canvas and that's not right now it's a little bit uh, these are artist loft canvases from Michaels and the value packs are cool because they come with a 16 by 20 inch insert that I can make edge catchers out of but as you can see if you can see some of the paint doesn't always want to stick to the primer that they use in China. I'm going to wipe that off on my studio rag. Best idea you can come up with because if you come back to your spatula and you got paint on it, you're not going to be happy. I want gold in there. Huh. You know what? It didn't even occur to me till right now. This is the uh, also the deco art pouring medium. I'm going to, if, I, if that'll come out, I'm just going to give it Some gold right across the surface. Yeah, and on the surface too. Now the white in anything generally disappears. Maybe, just maybe, I want to start by tipping as far as I can go in both directions and then being willing to come back and add more on top, which seems to be a plan I have been using repeatedly and liking the results of. And not putting all the paint on it once is kind of, it's a little hairy because you never know what you're going to get for sure, but I'd really love to be able to keep some of my negative space. I think I have a lot more paint than I need. But I love what happens with this. So if I'm doing this in stages as I go along, the chances of me spreading it as far as it'll go to see what's going to happen, and also having the availability of seeing the negative space that's left and how much of that I want to fill. My edge catcher is stuck. Come back. Off. Let go. <laughs> okay, well, that was interesting. It's stuck to my silicone matte paint coating. And I like that so much so I'm going to let it roll all the way as far as I can get it to go. Because I know I have more paint left to add. I love what the neon's doing. I'm not happy that the edge catcher is not behaving as well as usual. I'm going to let that paint roll down from the edge catcher and cover my edge. Just leave some black. I can always take paint off my edge catcher and often do put it right back on the canvas even though it's looking a little um, mauve or muddy I can put more paint over it and it will still help everything flow it also when you when you walk away from your paint at the end of the day and there's some leftover paint there you come back and it's beautiful and you wonder how that happened me too <laughs> but it does that's why this works I'm gonna try and get this massive conglomeration of damp paint that's catching my edge catcher. So I kind of want some orange in there and um, I'm not sure what to do about that except for pour from the other side. I wonder if I can do that. I can and I will. And just wipe it off. And I know they're kind of nonsensical patterns but I like putting layers down I like adding dimension. And if I still don't like what I have, I can add black or I can add white. I want some orange right here. And what I've been finding is that I can tip the canvas. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know what that's going to turn into. Probably just a bunch of drips. But I am going to put my edge catcher back after I remove some of the things in my way. And I'm going to let all that flow this way. And I like that my edges aren't completely covered because that really means that I can uh, hold on to part of my canvas without getting completely covered in gold. I am trying, I mentioned in my last video, I am trying to, uh, to learn how to use the white satin enamel. So I'm not using as much and I'm not wasting so much. Boy, the colors running down there are fantastic. I really, I was under the impression for a while that it might be, um, 
I've got a bug bugging me. Um, lost my train of thought. Ooh, yep, yeah, get out of my ear. <laughs> that was in, get off of my face, thank you. Ooh, got him. Whatever it was, it's gone now. That was um, a little strange. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, if that thought was important, it'll come back. But uh, that just came right off my spatula and uh, made some interesting colors there. So I am getting some interesting patterns and I do like them. And I, I do also remember that as the paint spreads out, I can add runs. I can also use whatever I've got handy. Oh boy. add some interest. I'm going to try and use that chain very very slowly and cautiously to lead some paint over the side. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. I kind of want to, oh yes I do, I want to do that. There's gorgeous colors in there. And everything, everything I've been doing is new. because of the satin enamel. I was wondering recently if I had any, if they had black, and that would be very cool. So I don't mind using chain. I never have, I love it. You know I love it. <laughs> any excuse to use chain I don't know about the balloon rolls yet and I'm not sure about what to do down here but I think I think a little extra paint right there might might serve my purposes so I'm going to do what I usually do which is say that I'm moving in the wrong direction so I can spread it up and then I'm going to spread it down again so it just takes that corner right to a whole new level. I do have some stripes, but I like stripes, so that's okay with me. And we're actually making some real progress in the direction of something that I am not minding a bit. I'm kind of wondering if I want some more of something that I haven't used yet. So it wouldn't be more, would it? It would just be something else. Um, Yeah, I really like that blue. And I like to play with all of my toys, so I'm going to play with a straw and see what happens. And what happens is cool. I guess there was some blue in there, but it was Prussian blue and it's turning some other strange color. I am going to go ahead and use some of the neon from Folk Art and try something different. get some idea of what kind of cells I can expect when I combine things. Maybe a little black right there because I think black almost always sells. I'm going to let that black paint go right down over the edge because that black corner may stay. I haven't used much of a skewer yet. And sometimes I add a lot of white to something to uh, to enhance the composition, make the eye move around in there more easily. And I'm not right to that point yet where I'm desperate enough to, to start adding my accent colors or my accent whatever they are. I do see I have another little spot over here and I do want to cover it right now. I think I cut the tip on my black bottle so it lets paint out really fast. So I gotta be a little careful. 
this is one of those times when I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to uh, to use a balloon and let the paint set up. I'm hoping that they will run. Yes, along with a bunch of other stuff. I'll catch it before it. Ah, I've got great paint on my edge that I needed over there. Anyway, that's excellent. It's the golds and the oranges from this corner. So it's definitely time to put the. Um, where was I? <laughs> to put the painting back down in, in front of something. I'm going to do this. And continue with my process of saying that I am dripping things and just add some really funky texture in there because I need to teach myself how to how to change it up I mean I really only have 20 minutes but it doesn't mean I have to be limited I like making different masses go into and fill different areas it just creates so much more of an interesting composition going to do it again. And I may want to do it again. Oh, it looks like it might wind up being a two-parter. I've got two minutes to tell you guys. If you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. I think I mentioned that before. You can find the Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatulas there. They're pretty awesome. There's five of them that are great, and there's one that's a little questionable. I think it would make a great thwap stick. I'm going to let that run some more and uh, try and remember to tell you guys if you share my videos, it's a big assistance to me. If you give me a thumbs up, it's what I need to help the YouTube algorithm stop demolishing my channel. <laughs> um, all your comments help. Your thumbs up definitely help. Your shares are big assistance. And uh, I could use all the help I can get, really, honestly. Below the video, I have uh, Teespring clothing. And if you shop there, you help me out, and you might find something totally awesome there, actually. Because I have all over print leggings. And all over print t-shirts, and a whole lot of other really cool stuff. Sort of like list one on my uh, Amazon link. It's just chock-a-block with cool art supplies. And every time I find something new, I add it there. I'm kind of like not unhappy with this. I think it might be potential for leaving it alone, she said, as she then added a whole bunch more color. I just, I love playing with the drips. What can I say? Every time I get a heavier, heavier area, that means it will move independently. And I've got to develop some new methods or I'm going to be left behind. So I love you guys. Not sure how many thousand there are of you. Things are kind of changing in the subscription department, but um, I got one minute left. And I think I got a crib sheet over here. So I do sell my artwork and uh, people who purchase artwork and people who donate $10 or more to the studio uh, are included in a monthly contest. You can find the uh, exhibition video on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video that will share the prizes with you. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of like liking all kinds of... I'm having ideas <laughs> about what I might want to do there as far as repeating that pattern. And I'm going to do it. Let's see what else is on here. I said thank you for all the wonderful comments. If I didn't, I mean to, because you guys have kept my morale up while YouTube has gotten stranger and stranger and stranger for me. And I really appreciate your help keeping my morale up, because I get a little depressed when I see all my money disappear. And uh, I'm still working just as hard as I ever was. So, note to Google, I wish you guys would get generous again, because uh, it's not helpful. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression Studio.